Hi everybody, today's focus is cleaning my dryer. So yesterday, a neighbor a few houses down had a dryer vent fire. It got me thinking, it's probably a really good time for me to clean my dryer. So the first thing I'm going to do is look up the manufacturer's instructions for how they suggest cleaning my dryer. First, for the exterior, you just have to wipe it with a damp cloth. Next is the lint filter. This, you're supposed to clean your lint filter before every use. If you do feel a waxy buildup on your lint screen, it's very possible that's from the fabric softener sheets if you use any dryer. I don't use any of those. My dryer's manufacturing instructions are to take out the lint filter, um, wash it with warm soapy water, dry it, and then put it back in. And that should help with the waxy buildup if you feel that on your own lint screen. For the stainless steel parts, of the dryer, clean with a damp cloth and a very mild non-abrasive cleaner that is approved for stainless steel use. Now for the dryer interior and duct, they suggest that it's cleaned once a year by a qualified person. Um, I would just put a disclaimer here that you're supposed to have someone qualified come and do the interior portion of your dryer and vent. However, we're gonna give it a shot today ourselves. So for the exhaust duct, you're supposed to inspect and clean it at least once a year to prevent clogging. And the last thing that you should clean is your exhaust hood. So that's the part that's on the exterior of your house. It's got the flap on it. My dryer is on the second floor, so I won't be able to check my exhaust hood flap very easily um, unless I get a ladder and, and get my husband probably to help me put up a ladder. So I will probably do that some other day. Right now I'm gonna focus on the things that I can do. Let's get started.
So this is everything that I pulled out of the dryer lint area. Most of it was stuck really deep aside. And I'll show you a perspective of how much it is. That's my hand. Okay, so this is the back of my dryer. Um, there's no big hose, so I'm gonna just try to shimmy the dryer back some more. Okay, so we started trying to pull the wash machine back and I can't get it detached from here. It seems like it's like a pressed fit. It's like, um, I've seen others have hose clamps and you use them to do the hose clamp and you remove the, the pipe, but this is like pressed fitted in and I can't undo it. So I think to do this portion of my dryer vent, I would have to be outside on the second floor right here. Cause right here is where that flap is, the exhaust flap is and clean it out from there. So that might be a job for another day. Since I'm back here, I'm going to dust as much as I can because there is definitely a lot of dust back here. So my dryer, yeah, that was super dirty. I'm actually really surprised at how much lint was in between the screen and like down by the, I guess, where the exterior pipe goes. That actually really surprised me. And it makes me realize I should really be cleaning that out much more frequently than I have, which has been basically not at all since I bought it. Just like you saw, I was unable to detach the dryer vent from my wall. So this summer, my husband and I will tackle that from the exterior of the house since I have to go up the second floor and need a ladder to do that. So make sure you check your dryer vents and make sure you clean out your dryer. It's super important to prevent fires. Thank you so much for watching. So please remember to hit that like, share, subscribe. I honestly appreciate it. And if you're interested in learning about what I'm doing ahead of the game, like maybe a month or so before I'm able to put results on YouTube, check out my Patreon community. Link will be in the description below. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.